So yesterday, the Golden Globes revealed the nominations of of this year's Golden Globes, right? And normally, I I would do a video of who I think is going to win, who I think should win, who's more likely to win, my reactions to the nominees, all that kind of stuff. And I would normally do that, and I did have a look at it. But while looking at the list, I was like, there shouldn't be one. There shouldn't even be Oscars this year. And I know they pushed it to, like, April. But still, it shouldn't... They shouldn't have... Award seasons should not be happening this year. And your heads might thinking, why? Because, simple, what movies came out last year? What films? Now, I don't say what the Golden Globes, because the Golden Globes is a, it's a mix of movies and TV, so there's always that aspect of things. But, for the Oscars' sake, what films? And yet, your mind might be like, you know, your head might be like, well, what, just because the blockbusters got pushed to next, this year, and, and or possibly 2022, like, what, is that the main reason? Maybe. Because here's the thing, like, the, what makes the award seasons special is that there, there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, thousands of films that come, come out uh, on that year. And this, in 2020, it's like 100 films. Or like 60 films, whatever the actual amount is. And yes, there might, you know, we got uh, No Man Land. Uh, you have, uh, you know, this film and that film and um, uh, uh, Miles Berry's Black Bottom and, you know, all these films that uh, div divide bloods and, you know, all these films that come, you know, come out last year that should be nominated for, for Best Picture at least. But for my head, in my head, I'm like, there's no point. It's like it's like having someone saying, "Hey, you won, you won a race, but normally it would be like f you versus fifty, but it's you versus like twenty. Like it's not a fair game. It's not. And you know, maybe the Academy is like, you know, maybe the Academy or Globes are like, yeah, we know this year sucks, but we still want to honor these people. Fine." But then, fine, but I'm not interested in that. It's not a fair competition. And two, the Academy is fucking tone deaf. <laughs> Let's be honest, they're fucking tone deaf. Their heads are thinking, unless their mind says, like, oh, Hollywood has already got the vaccines. We're, we're LA, we already got the vaccines. It could be, that mindset. But they're like, you know what? We're going to have a on-stage performance at the, at the Academy Awards. Like, it has always been in April. You fucking tone deaf? Do you realize there's a fucking pandemic? Yeah? And, you know, the U US is not one of the countries that is doing pretty well and has handling it. Yes, right now you got 34 mil, uh, 45, uh, 40, uh, 34 million people are vaccinated, but, you know, there's an extra Three hundred, you know, three hundred and ninety-nine to go. <laughs> like it's, it's um, it's, it's. I, I, I'm just not interested in it this year. Hopefully next year, I'll be like, okay, fair competition. Here we go. It's just, it's not a fair competition, and that's, that's well said.